I am not the status quo. I am not default. I'm Ruben Mosley, 19 years old, come from South London. I was born 27 weeks early, cerebral palsy, both legs, had it from birth. My mum raised me single parent. She taught me to enjoy life, taught me to just be happy, made sure I got out, made sure I saw the world. I didn't even realise until much later how much my mum was putting up with, how much sheer politics is involved in having a disability and having to deal with local authorities and having to deal with the government. Mum did all of this, managed to raise me. I salute my mum for that. She looked after me. Mum had an accident in 2006, which basically did her leg in. So going through some other like health problems. She got kind of not over it, but it wasn't as easy. The year 2017, 2018, suddenly from my GCSEs. My mum died. This this was a lot. This this was a really, really hard one, and taught me a lot. There was no one else. My mum stood up for me when no one else could. Some people get just kind of mopey and lose it, and some people, and this is what I did. I, get so angry that they can't breathe, they can't think, they can't eat, they're just angry. Anger and rage and just the pain of it all. Well, how I got rid of all that anger and the pain and that rage when I was 14. I'd been picking up music more, all these different sounds, all these different motives, all these different emotions. And I used to find like people I knew in school, but I used to do rap battles with them. That helped me get the anger hard. I started getting instrumentals up on my phone and started rapping and figure out schemes and figure out like what I wanted to say and with all these emotions I was feeling in this dark place I was at, it was just nice to be able to sit down and just write. I was kind of lost. I'm rapping, I'm doing freestyles, but I'm not being taught nothing. I'm not evolving. I go to a local authority because I'm like, I don't know what I want to do for college. I can't go to my school again. And they said, yeah, there's this place up in like Hampshire. It's like super inclusive and stuff. It's Trillers. Instead of it being the actual disability itself, that's been the, the difficult part. It's been the social interactions. Some people have perceived me because of my disability. But I'm dumber or I have mental problems. Just because I'm in a chat does not affect my mind. I went to a secondary school, Graveney, right? You lose like a good percentage of the school just because of a lack of accessibility. No lifts, maybe two buildings that you can get into without having to get out of your chair. And that's only the ground floor. Trillers, it made everything more even. It made me able to just self socially. It just allowed me to grow. So after that I got agreed, I moved in in Campbell Court. Having my own place means that people are recognising that I'm independent, which I appreciate. I will do a lot of things I want to do, like cooking and cleaning and being able to just actually be an adult. So I started making connections, started rapping more, started really figuring everything out. I had some headspace. I had some space just away from everything. Made some friends. I joined music. I mean, it's a rock and pop course, and I want to do hip hop. But it's like, you know what? Yeah, I want to do it. You know why? Because I love music. Found a pre existing band, a guitarist, drummer, singer. Rolled with them, combination of rock and rap at the same time. I want to tell them before every single line I buy is off the top, like a chrome down. Ruben's just been excited from day one. It's really opened, like, the minds and ears, really, of a lot of the other students there, so. I guess you could call it Jesus. Still love them if you've made for that. Still love that. 
spends almost every day in the music department, either writing, uh, composing or recording, working on beats and things like that. Just given more life to the department, I suppose, definitely. Got like a bunch of stuff I never quite finished. <laughs> Welcome to the world of making music. There's at least 50 songs that are like abandoned state. Being around people got rid of the low mood. I'm not alone. I don't feel alone. And that, that's powerful in its own right. I'm also able to have a safety net that when I'm not up to it, I can get on a bus and go to college without it costing me money or having to think about my finances. I have that community, I have that socialization. I wrote this thing, it was called The Story of Rue. Someone at my local authority had basically caught wind that I write poems a couple of years before I did this course. Get contacted by this guy called the Urban Intellectual, send in my poems. He's like, yeah, I need a little bit of work, but you're good. You, you're solid. Work with him over around about a six month period. And he just, yeah, I got my, I got my poems published. I'm a published author. <laughs> So have you got a lot more to do on that unit? Expand on my points about health and safety. He's definitely a lot more confident since starting at Trelaw and Alton College. Reuben would like to live as independent as possible when he leaves Trelaw's. Have you got to expand on some of these ideas? Yeah. Trelaw gives him that opportunity. I'm very, very proud of him. Uh, to be independent, a lot of people don't get that need. Learn how to cross a road. Just learn how to go places by yourself. You'll pick it up. When, how, where? Trollers let me do that. Be free. Be able to be a like, happy soul. Be able to like be a teenager. Just because I'm disabled, I shouldn't have to like be in a box. Being at Trollers has helped me mentally because it's meant I'm able to be me. That is so, it's so freeing. Now I know that in the future, yeah, if I want to go to uni, that's a possibility. I know what I want to do now. My goal is that, that People around the world can listen and read my stuff and go, yeah, I didn't think of that. Or, oh, that's the perspective I had much from. That's what my finished product is. That's what that goal is. Mm -hmm.